And only in one of those attractions, we know that a guy lost nine big male and 16 big female Nile crocs. And he, it, the hurricane ruined him. So rather than chase him down, he just didn't report it and he closed shop and moved. Those crocs have been interbreeding with the American saltwater crocs and alligators. So now we've got, we've got Nile crocs. They've tried to eradicate them. They've got a shoot on site order for them, but they've interbred with our crocs. And we're starting to find 19 and 20 foot long crocs on the West Coast that are eating cattle. And it, it's not a good situation because we were down to about 20 crocodiles in the 1970s and they started an aggressive breeding program. There wasn't a lot of people here then. Now we've got about 4,500 to 5,000 and they're starting to swim up on our local beaches with the tourists and it's not good.